Hi everybody, welcome back. It's been a long time. It's nice to see you again. And if you just you see me for the first time, it's nice to see you for the first time. I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you're alive because there's been a lot going on in the world. And I'm just happy to be here right now with you reviewing. Yeah. So today, the first film I want to talk about is called Project Power. Project Power is a new film on Netflix. It stars Jamie Flox. Now this film is about a man searching for his daughter who's been kidnapped. Yeah. And it's not only that, the main focus on the film is that there's these pills going on the streets which are like drug like like drugs basically. And you take the pill and the pill gives you special powers. So if you watch things like, say, you watch stuff like X-Men, you watch stuff like, say, what can I think of? What can I think of? Stuff like Black Lightning. Then it's along that sort of line. That's the way how, you know, the powers work, you know. But I won't go into, you know, too much because I don't want to completely spoil the film for you. So I'll just cut to the chase and get to the point. Right, this film is two hours long. Two hours long. Two hours long. Now, the thing is with the film, two hours long, you've got to have something to grip you from beginning to end. But, I mean, this film was like a film that started off really slow. It had action there. So, if you're just interested in just action of our story, you'll love it straight away. If you're into superpowers and you don't really care about a storyline, you just like seeing... Flashing images, fine and stuff. You'll find this film amazing. Yeah. But the story, it takes a while to heat up. And I think that's the reason why the film ended up being two hours. Because it takes you about an hour to actually really understand what is going on. And how it's going on. And how everyone in the film are interlinked together. Yeah. Um, to be honest. Right. This is not my favourite film of the year. And we're talking I don't even know how to describe it to be honest. To be honest. Look, let's just put it this way. Project Power is a story, it's long. It's got action, you know. It's very it's very it's very conclusive in the way how they, you know, go from scene to scene and stuff like that. The filming's great. There's a great scene. There's a couple great scenes in there where, you know, the camera footage takes you a different way. So it's not the standard sort of action filming. You know, it makes you think, oh, what's going on there? But it's quite nice. It's not over the top special effects. But the story doesn't bring nothing new to a world where we've had all these sort of stories before. Yeah. That's me talking honest about it. Um, it's worth seeing. But. Because it's on Netflix. It's one of those films you can stop. Go do something. Come back again. I mean you could watch a film in four parts. It's not a film that had me personally gripped. Where I would want to sit down and. You know watch from the beginning to end, not moving off your seat kind of action. That wasn't that wasn't a film for me, you know. And Product Power didn't have that. Yeah. Um it's not it's not a really bad film. It's not a really great film. You know, I'm a fan of Jamie Foxx. I'm a fan of what he does. But in general this film kind of fell average. Average. But in this world, this coronavirus world now, where, you know, a lot of us are still at home, believe it or not. I would honestly say that it's worth watching, you know. It's worth watching. But I'll give the film... Out of 10. I'll give the film... An average... Mediocre five. 
I think the main reason why is because the story could have been a lot better. But I would like you to, you know, possibly watch yourself and let me know your thoughts, let me know your opinions. Yeah. I mean, you know, they spend no expense in production, but if it's not a good story, it doesn't matter how big or how, you know, great the, the explosions and everything seem to be. I'd never find, I can never give the film a top marks or really excite me for me to see it again. It's not a film I want to see again because the story wasn't great. There was nothing really sort of keeping me there. It's one that I would watch, I'd remember, but I wouldn't really be excited to see it again. That's what I think of it anyway. So like, subscribe, stay tuned for my next videos. See ya.